right, that's that's good. Hello. All right, so a couple of days ago, I made this tutorial called Drawing Black People 101 because I was really excited for the stream of black art that's going to come out thanks to Black Panther. But I know that Tumblr has an issue with not drawing black people in a way that is appropriate and respectful. And that's sad because, you know, we're all human. And I think it's important that people learn how to draw these features without it falling into racially insensitive caricature tropes. Yep, you guys might be saying, hey lion, why a guide on drawing black people? Well, it's because a lot of people can't seem to draw black people. They have some kind of difficulty with it. So here you go, a free tutorial showing you how to draw black people. Uh, yeah, a lot of people can't seem to just draw them. Amazing, I know, but yep, it happens. So let's get started. Characters, um, it's basically a very popular form of dehumanizing black people by exaggerating certain features, mostly the nose and big red lips. It's really gross, you guys, don't do it. And it's just, it's been a tactic used forever to make black people seem less than human. So I have to address caricatures, because caricatures have been around since forever. And to this day, people can't seem to draw black people like human beings. And a lot of it is because, one, racism, and two, you have really racist portrayals of black people like this. And... You might say, oh, well, it's a stylistic choice because these, all these examples are very cartoony. They're not really realistic, but that's no excuse. That's still racist, you guys, because you can look at any black person. I just pulled this guy off of Pinterest, all right? You note his nose, all right? You note his lips, but he in no way looks like these exaggerations, which are, you know, Big noses, big red lips, uh, really dark skin. That's not a thing. No one looks like that, so your drawings should also not look like that. And I've gotten quite a few comments uh, about the two anime guys right here and right here. And people have been saying, oh, well, anime is very stylistic and the Japanese have a different view on race than Americans do and that does not matter. Black people do not look like this. It really doesn't matter how you see race. People don't look like this. It's offensive. It goes back to like all this history right here. They look exactly <laughs> like these caricatures you guys so no don't draw it. And please don't try to excuse it as a stylistic choice because there are other things on the face to exaggerate, you know? You can exaggerate eyes, brows, ears, hair, body types. Like, you can exaggerate all of that. But with black people, it tends to be the nose and the lips. Like this guy, Bubba, down here. Probably not his real name, but... Yeah, there are other things to exaggerate. So if your excuse for drawing like this is... Well, it's just my style. Congrats, you are racist. That's pretty much it. Because you can't look at a black person, see this, and think, oh, yep, that's okay. It's not okay. So, yeah, just to get that out of the way, because you really have to be aware of things to avoid if you're going to do this right, okay? So, I know a lot of people were intimidated by that. I don't know why. It's very simple. Don't draw black people like that. So, moving on, we got the concept of whitewashing. So, let's say you have an original character in a cartoon, and they look just like this, right? She got her scarf on, she got her natural hair, her fro coming through, big glasses. Look at her features, you guys. She got that round nose and those full lips you can tell even without color like okay she's black you know um that's not to say that other people can't have big like wider noses and fuller lips 
that's not to say that at all. So what whitewashing is, is let's say you have a character that looks very ethnically, naturally black, right? And what people tend to do when they redraw those characters, when they interpret those characters, is they'll make the nose really small, tiny, dainty, you know? That's not what happened here. She looks like this. And they'll also, like, shrink the lips. No, look, she has nice, natural, full lips. And because uh, natural hair tends to be harder to draw, you know, the kinks and the coils, <laughs> the coils, um, people tend to straighten the hair. Or they do, you know, like, this or this. Don't do that. Guys, please don't whitewash characters. And also, let's say, for example's sake, my character over here, let's call her Bronte. Because I used to have a friend called, well not used to, I have a friend called Bronte. And this is her natural skin color, right? This is how she shows up in whatever show, book, movie she's from. This is her natural brown, beautiful acorn skin color. Uh, what you should not do is do this. Don't drag this little guy up here and then color it like this. That's not Bronte. Bronte looks like this. Not like this. So don't do that. Don't lighten skin tones. Don't <laughs> remove features. Don't straighten the natural hair, you guys. Just gonna tidy this up because, you know, this is the original. <laughs> okay, yeah, don't do that. So... Moving on, we're going to address some facial features, because those are really important. So right here, we got noses. So black people tend to have uh, flatter bridges. So that's, let me click on this. That's this part right here, right? We tend to have flatter bridges. We tend to have wider nostrils. And like really round tips when we turn to the side, you know, so wide, wider nostrils, round tips than our non-black counterparts. But that's not to say that black people can't have small noses, you know, it depends on who you're using for a reference. Because, you know, everybody looks different, not all black people look the same. But you can't deny that every race has distinguishing features, that's how we tell i don't know that's how we tell each other apart you know so um going back to caricatures right remember we they drew our guys with huge noses uh your nose when you're drawing black people should not come out to the cheeks nobody looks like that i <laughs> nobody looks like that so there's no reason for you to draw noses like that come out here you guys keep your noses proportionate to the rest of the face and even if, um, again, you have a really cartoony style, your noses should still not take up all of the face on black people, especially if you don't draw anybody else like that. Don't do that. Come on. We can do better. And now to move on to lips. Lips, lips, lips. I love lips. Okay, so like I've said before, black people do tend to have natural <laughs> sorry that was weird naturally full lips okay so that's what everybody wants now because let's admit they're beautiful and they're luscious and they're nice so yep this is a good example of a profile view you know keep it simple don't don't overdo it and you got it okay and lips also tend to have three colors right so you normally have like the base color right here at the top lip and in the bottom lip, but in the center the lips tend to get really really light and sometimes it's like a really light purple or a really bright pink. Sometimes your lips are like all pink and then really purple towards the center. It depends again on your reference. Use references because you know black people look different. So yeah the lightest color tends to go on the fleshiest part of the lip which is right here. Ooh, look at that. That's a good nude for her. And there tends to be, you know, like a fuller shape. So you can experiment with that, especially if you, um, if you like, you know, cartoony looks, right? You can have like big, 
top lips and then like really small bottom lips <laughs> or you can do vice versa just have fun with it to be honest like go for it go for it go for it and then what okay so that brings us to hair right so not all black people have really curly hair right but this style right this natural style still is never drawn people tend to get really lazy with it and i got a lot of backlash for calling it lazy when you just do you know like squiggles or you see somebody with an afro and you draw their hair like that you know um nobody's hair looks like this black hair does not look like this especially uh not like this it it just doesn't it doesn't come in and out like that so that's why i say that it's lazy even if um even if you have like a really cartoony style there's another way to do that that isn't just like a full circle of just squiggle 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 but um it's also really especially lazy if your style is similar to mine where it's like semi-realistic semi-stylized and you're just doing that don't do that you know like really get into it like go crazy with the detail because our hair does not conform to like straight solid lines <laughs> or edges um when it's curly like this it really it just doesn't you know because we got coils and curls <laughs> you know we got kinks and coils and curls oh my god i can't stop saying coils but uh we we don't do this this is not a thing this is definitely not a thing that's like heat damage and then this is like you fried your Barbie doll's hair in the dryer, which, funny enough, happened to me when I was, you know, a child. And then with black men, people don't seem to know how to draw, like, black men's hair, okay? And, yeah, they tend to do this, um, even with a perm, right? No black man has hair that looks like this. Also, no black woman has hair that looks like this. It's just not a thing, you guys. I've seen some people um, pull out... Hold on. Let me show you. I, 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 have to type you. I have to type it in to show you. But I've seen some people pull out um, references of women with like very short pixie cuts, right? Uh, yeah, ignore this. This is backwards, right? Um, yeah, that's a style, right? But even then, the hair does not look like that, okay? It doesn't look like that at all, okay? Y'all? Oh, yeah, a lot of different people showed up. But, no, no, no. It doesn't puff out and come in. It, it doesn't look like that. And natural hair, right, when it's growing in short, will form like this around the head. You see how there's no solid line it's wispy it dips in it comes out it's uneven you know like that's how the hair grows and then hair like this right which is probably like the closest the hair will ever come to looking like the example i said no to and that's because it's relaxed it's been processed to look like that it's been straightened it's been manipulated okay and then sometimes it's also like the hair is just wigs we have short wigs that's a thing so this right this is a wig our hair does not look like this it doesn't okay even at its straightest it doesn't look like this it's textured sorry so yep stop this nope not nope nope we're not doing that anymore and also i want you guys to really really keep this in mind right Black hair is so diverse. It comes in so many different styles. So no, maybe your character does not have an afro, right? Like this, right? But they can still have braids. They can still get fades. And fades is basically like when the hair cuts in a gradient, it goes from really light to dark to full hair at the top. They can still have 
little clips and decorations in their hair. Like, look at this. It's so creative. She has faux locks at the top of her head forming a flower. Isn't that amazing? And look at that. He has little cuts and... Wait, sorry. The blue can't show there. He has little cuts and he has waves, like really faint waves and facial hair. And she has beads, wooden beads in her hair. So, like go crazy with it. There's so many different kinds of hairstyles. You don't have to just draw afros, you know? You can go faux locks, braids, twists, dreads, like go wild with it, okay? Also, cornrows, and cornrows come in so many different forms and shapes and sizes too. Uh, just Google it, you know? And I know a lot of people are saying, well, not all black people have curly hair, not all black people have blah 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 blah. Just because the I show, oh, whoops, look what I did. Whoops. <laughs> look, it's a heart. Because I love black people and I love when people get this right. But anyway, just because uh, this was the example that I show, didn't showed, yeah, it doesn't mean that I'm saying that all black people have big curly afros. It's just saying that this is a style, you know, that people that is very popular in the community, like afros, you know, with the curls and the, oh god, I messed that up, but anyways, yeah, it's, oh god. <laughs> um, I'm showing this as an example, is just because this is a hard style to do, so don't simplify it. Like, if you look at your reference and they have really complex, like, diverse afros, don't do this. This is not what an afro looks like. Nobody's afro looks like this. Like, look at her afro, right here. It does not look like this. Like, if you zoom in, it's not a solid straight line. Like, look at all those wispies. Look at how they come in, and they go out, and they come in, and they go out, and they fall over her face, you know? So, yeah, just keep that in mind. And I want you guys to really, truly have fun with this, okay? Like, honestly, really, truly do. Because drawing black people is great, and there's not a lot of black art out there. So, really... Give us some representation, be accurate, and like I said before, have fun with it. Just have fun with it. Just have fun. Please, be respectful, you know? So if somebody comes up to you and you made a mistake, okay? You made a mistake. You're, what you drew, you're really proud of it, but it looks caricature-y, you know? And somebody points that out, just say you're sorry and revise your art. That's the beautiful thing about art. We can just revise it you know like I can take this white and I could be like okay I don't like the way I drew this I'm gonna go back over it you know and then you just redo it oh if it will let me redo it <laughs> you just redo it you just learn from your mistakes and you give another go okay that's it so don't be afraid the tutorial wasn't meant to put you off from drawing black people it's really meant to encourage you and give you some basic guidelines on how secondly listen to black people um i'm not saying just myself hey yeah i'm black oh i said hey yeah no hell yeah but you know listen to black people when they try to give you commentary on your artwork you know if they feel like it's very offensive and they tell you it's offensive revise you know say you're sorry don't try to excuse it fix your artwork Go again. And lastly, have fun. Oh my gosh. Like, guys, this is not supposed to be rocket science. You're not diffusing any bombs, okay? I know, like, certain art spaces, like on Tumblr, can get a little crazy sometimes, right? Fix yourself, you know? And make sure you're really doing your research, too. Like, if you're unsure about something, ask. Just ask, is this okay? Did I do this right? You know? Just, just have fun. Have fun. Draw. Alright, so that's all I have to say in this video. The next video I will address, you know, hair in depth and how to go about drawing hair if you have a really cartoony style and how to draw black people in really cartoony styles just in case you felt this was a little too realism focused, semi-realism focused. I will go over that. So thank you for watching. Have a great day afternoon, <laughs> evening. <laughs> Bye.